Hey everyone, George Kors here again, and I'm thinking about translation again, and I was talking a little bit about the philosophy of translation by Damien Searles, but today I want to talk a little bit about something else, just briefly, which is this philosophical work by Jill Austin called How to Do Things with Words. And in a different video, I talk about how Searles asks, what's a faithful translation? And what is that question even posing to us? And I would like to encourage everybody out there who is thinking about translation, who's thinking critically about language, especially English, especially those of you who are reading primarily in English, I want to encourage you to consider reading how to do things with words. Because one of the things that J.L. Austin does in the 20th century, in the 1950s when he's giving these lectures, is first off, he's founding, uh, not founding, he's establishing uh, some very important ideas to the field of semantics with informal linguistics. But he is giving us criteria to move away from the true-false assessment of a statement. And here in How to Do Things with Words, he talks a lot about a happy or an unhappy statement uh, with regards to various, quote-unquote, allegedly performative statements. Now, what does this have to do with translation? Well, what I would posit to you is that Indeed, we need a more nuanced discussion of translation. I've noticed there's been controversy about certain translators. There's been all sorts of stuff going on about translation. What's a good translation? We're very excited about certain translation. There's a lot of hype about certain translations. Well, one of the things we need to think about in all of this is language. What are we understanding as the, the act of rendering one language in another um, and, and how does the object being art, for example, if we're talking about a novel, function in that discussion? So one, you know, if you really want to dive deep, here's my thing that I would encourage you to do. Go out and find How to Do Things with Words by J.L. Austin and take a look through this. It is dense. It is maybe not the most exciting read in the world for a lot of folks. But if you are out there saying there's something more than something being right, wrong, true, false with regards to language then I think Jail Austin's How to Do Things with Words is a great place to start with that. And, you know, it'll make some reading something like The Philosophy of Translation by Damien Searles that much more enriching. There's a lot to think about here. I have a lot of thoughts about translation. I know you folks do as well. I want to thank you for being here with me today. If you want to visit my website, georgecourse.com, go for it. You can learn more about me. I hope you're safe and I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much.